Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and we're going to talk about sales. Well, very specifically, how we take care of our salespeople, how we do the margins on it, how we pay them. This is a popular topic amongst the tech world because, well, there's different methodologies, and I'm going to talk about the one that works for us. Now, I will preface this, of course, with we are an IT company. We're an IT company that does a lot of projects. We do a lot of projects with other internal IT companies or IT staff. And we also do what they refer to as managed service providing or MSP work. So we provide, you know, managed services for companies to take care of their computers and technology. Because of that, this is the reason why we adopted this sales model. This may not work for every industry, but I'm going to tell you why I think it works for me. You may have a different opinion of this, but at least share with you how we do it. Because a lot of people, you know, I think this is going to be a good start. And if you're looking for a methodology, I just want to share some knowledge and show you how we do it. But first, if you'd like to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hire us button right at the top. If you want to support this channel in other ways, there's affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on this channel, including a link to our Patreon if you'd like to become a Patreon supporter. We also have a swag store where you can get shirts and other items that are for sale, and that changes from time to time what's available and what's not, so go ahead and check that out frequently. And finally, our forums. If you'd like to have a more in-depth discussion about this video, suggestions for new videos, or just reach out, say hi, and talk tech, our forums are a great place for that. All right, now back to the content. All right, so do we pay our salespeople commission plus base? Yes, so if that's what you were looking for, there's your answer on that. But the nuance is very important. What do you pay on? And there's two options here, and I make sure so I say them correctly, I have them on my phone. It is the net revenue model or the gross margin model. What's the difference? So net revenue means the total of the sale, the salesperson gets a commission on that percentage. The problem is, and if you work in tech, you're shaking your head going, yeah, that's kind of a problem because what if they sold a lot of hardware but no labor? And for us here at Lawrence Systems, well, where do we make our money? No secret, we make our money by leveraging the knowledge of my staff against people's needs. It's kind of as simple as that. People go, hey, I have this network engineering or a VPN project or something that we have a skill set in setting up, a storage server, whatever that might be, that's just a knowledge transfer. That means that we make the most margin on that because we have a value that we set on there. And when you're setting on a product or service that you perform, you can kind of set the margin and control it better. We don't make the hardware. We don't make those switches that are stacked up behind me. So if a sale were to pay the same commission on both, that would be very problematic because it's a race to the bottom when you don't make the hardware. And especially when companies sell product that aren't channel partner direct, and which is common, and I have no problems with it, but that means that anyone can buy it, and frequently they do. And the margin being so low on those means if I pay the sales commission on both sides, that would be bad. So let's talk about gross margin model, and that's what we do. Gross margin means you pay your salesperson a percentage of the margin, that is the amount of money you make on the entire sale. Doesn't matter what it is, hardware, labor, whatever the margin is on there. This is a much harder to do. And the reason why a lot of business owners, and this is maybe you have taken the time to calculate this, maybe you have not. Uh, not all business owners are as clear as they should be on what the cost of goods sold, what their fixed costs are, and understand their margin, especially on a per sale basis. It's actually, once you've taken the time to really think about how your model works and you structure your sales around this, it's actually not too hard, but it's something that is, uh, well, imperative because you can't say, I'm gonna pay you a margin, but I don't know what that margin is. And that is a conversation that means your salesperson has to be deeply involved in the margins of the business. That is, it's maybe a little bit more responsibility than some people willing to take on, but I will tell you it is great because now the salesperson only gets paid a percentage of the margin. That means they'll never sell something at cost because they would make no money on it. So they wouldn't do it to just close the sale like on a net revenue model. They're gonna go, wow, I'm gonna make no commission if I don't mark this up. Second, because we'll allow many of our clients, we're working with internal IT teams as part of the uh, sales we do, where uh, maybe let's say a school district has an internal IT team and this is you know ongoing engagements we have right now. Um, they'll wanna buy the hardware directly because sometimes they get different rates on it. And what we're gonna do in that particular instance is allow them to separate out the hardware and only charge for labor. By the way, we make the best margin on the labor. So now the sale was able to go through. There was no worry. The sales commission like, oh no, I'm going to get beat up on this because it's um, net sales. And now the sale just cut way down because it's only the labor and the you know $50,000 in parts that they wanted are not going to be part of it. But if there was no margin on it, what did it really matter? So that's pretty much in a nutshell how we do it. It's really as simple as that. And 
Then the last little piece I'm going to do is define right here, what's a sale? So a sale is eligible for a commission under the following conditions. This is part of the way we write things up. Uh, the salesperson initiator completed the sale with a new customer. That seems kind of obvious, but yeah, they find new customers and things like that. In the other side of it though that's really important the salesperson initiated contact and completed sale with an existing customer that's actually a huge one there um, and, and one of the reasons you pay your salespeople like a base commission uh, or a base salary plus commission because well a lot of times you spent saying hi to clients and you can send all the mailers out in the world and let your clients know of all the fancy things that your company offers but you'll find those go in the garbage and all those mass emails you send up get ignored and you'll surprise someone when you call an existing customer and say hey uh you know i heard you might want a camera system because you were having some trouble or whatever you know through some conversation they had and they go you do cameras yeah we've been doing it for five years and but you know people ignore all that uh because well you're not the only company sending them mass amounts of mailers and emails trying to let them know a product and service you offer. That's one of the important aspects of a salesperson is just to make those calls. The last one is salesperson upselling an existing project. And this is something where, you know, you can have things in transition that weren't initiated from your salesperson and then they want to upsell it. And this is where you can take like managed services, which is one of the services we offer. And maybe that gets upsold, but they weren't part of the original sale, but you still incentivize that for the add-ons they do and create a monthly recurring commission on that margin as well. And like I said, back to being on margin, even when you're selling a recurring service that we offer, uh, such as managing or any other features on that, adding to those commission sheets and paying them up monthly keeps it really simple. So that's kind of in a nutshell how we do it. It's, it's relatively simple in terms of the way the salesperson gets paid. It's simple because you know every sale is made definitely making a margin or the salesperson wouldn't bother doing it because they wouldn't get anything. But the hard part is knowing what those margins are and things. So you're going to have to identify that. You're going to have to have an honest conversation with your salespeople uh, and make sure they understand that they have to be vested in there. And it, for us, it makes it a little bit easier because we run our company, what we refer to as open book. So that they all are aware of what the revenues are and what the costs are of the company. So they have a deeper understanding of it because they have access to all that information. But um, once you've sorted all that out and you know put things down and understand that margin, it's a lot easier to do this. So hopefully that's helpful and a little insight into how we do things here at Lawrence Systems. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.